Alrighty, so <laughs> this uh, video is going to be for Scorpios, alright? And my last reading with Scorpios, OMG. It was, it wasn't July, bless you. It was um, June, and it was like a very funny reading, and I had a lot of Scorpios, like, not a lot. Some Scorpios was like, oh, yep, you're dead on. Some Scorpios was like, I ain't like it. And I did say, it's not me. It's don't shoot the messenger. Spirit telling me. So, hey. It is what it is. Anyway, so we just did Libra. Clear out these cards. All right. All right, Scorpios. So, Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpios for August 2020? I did skip over July because it's already in the middle of the month. And I kind of wanted to get ahead this time because I didn't use July. I like to do them like on the first of the month. So I'm just going to skip over July and go straight to August. Hmm. Here, what message do you have for Scorpio for August 2020? Number five, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to lay your cards out. Situation. Differences. All right. Just give me a second. Hold on. Alrighty. So, in your situation, 
you have the Six of Pentacles. So, basically, you're getting a raise in money or salary. Salary. So, this is in your situation. So, you got a raise. What crosses your situation, Scorpio, is the Sun card. So, you have... Um, Marriage, happiness, and you have marriage and happiness and bright prospects. So for that, with you getting a raise and for um, that to be crossing your situation, it could be where you're having issues with balancing the both things, where you balance your career and your love life. Now, what this is your unconscious influences. So these are the things behind the scenes. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So the Queen of Pentacles is about. Um, it has to do with your like professional area or business. So basically behind the scenes at your work, your business or whatever is dominate is dominating your life right now. But this is the things that are behind the scenes. So with you getting this raise, it's going to come with a lot more money, a lot more time that you're going to be at work, a lot more time that you're going to have overtime or whatever the case might be. And it is um, dominating your life. Um, now, what's in your past? You have the Ace of Cups. So in your past, you have had security, a helping hand. You have always in the past had somebody to basically fall back on a security blanket in the past. Now, in your conscious influences, so these are the things that you are aware of, and it is um, strength. And it says inner strength. Um, you have confrontations with yourself and other people. So spirit is telling you to be very strong, but... Because you're very outspoken and because uh, that door is not closed, please close it. Um, with you being outspoken, just close it. Lock the top lock in. Um, you being outspoken is causing you to have conflict with other people. Now... In your near future, you have the emperor. And the emperor is basically about everything is, is starting to, you you being an emperor and that coming up in your, um, in your future. So you're getting everything together. You're organizing everything in your life. So you're organizing your um, family life. You're organizing your relationships. You're organizing all of that. Uh, and you're bringing stability into your life. The next card is your emotion, which is the Knight of Cups. So this is you feeling a little insecure about everything that's going on. You feel like it's very hard and you feel like it's just like um, it's just too much. But this is all the things that you actually asked for. Huh? No, you have you have writing, so you can't do that. You have to find something else. Yes, Olivia. Um, so the Knight of Cups is basically you not being as confident as you want to be. Um, and you're getting everything together, and you're planning everything together, but you're just not confident about it. Then your outside influences, which is your family, friends. Now this makes sense. Um, your outside influences, which is, these are your family and your friends. This is the influences that you have in your, your um, outside influences. So this is a chariot card. So the chariot card is about um, movement and um, a journey. Uh, victory over your situation or your problems. Balancing the opposite polarities. So, for 
for this to come up in your family and friends section, there is somebody that always comes to your rescue, Scorpio, always, which I was wondering why the Ace of Cups would come up into your past. It kind of seems like you, you, the person that comes to your rescue all the time, you kind of told them like, you know what? I don't want your help. I want to be able to do this on my, by myself. I want to be more independent. And I was kind of wondering why that was there. And it told me, but I didn't want to say it. But it makes sense now because this person that you kind of told them that, you know, I got it. Don't, you know, you don't have to help me. Don't worry about it. This person, you had to come back and ask for help again. And there they are with the chariot bailing you out and helping you out. But you, the thing is about the Knight of Cups here, you don't feel confident that you can do things on your own. You just don't feel confident. And that's why you call for help because you feel like you can't do it yourself. Hopes and dreams. Ah. Oh. Hopes and dreams. We have the Seven of Cups. And it says, all that is glitter is not gold. Look beyond the clouds. Money improvement. So something behind the scenes seems like it's a great situation and a great idea. But it's not. You think it is. You look at material things and you think it is, but it's not. And... You, you want it to be, but it, it, it's just not. And then in your outcome, you have the Six of Swords. And this is you basically traveling. You're moving away. Um, this is you basically backing out and trying to, instead of like going into choppy waters, this is going you going into calm, calm waters and you moving away, moving away from this opportunity, moving away all together and just moving away. And what's interesting is like in the beginning of the reading, you have money, you have everything that you want, all of this, but it's like you always have to get help. You don't feel confident that you can do this on your own. You, you don't feel you don't feel confident. And it's like it has you moving forward with everything, but not moving in a way that you want to move because you feel like that you can't do it. So let's let's clarify a little bit. I'm going to do some romance angel cards for you. Spirit, what message do you have in the romance department for Scorpios for August 2020? Okay. And this says, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So somebody that you're in a relationship with or you're talking to is like the attraction is not there and the chemistry is not there. That's what that says for your love life. It's just not enough. Not enough attraction or chemistry to keep your relationship going. Something's missing. All right, so that is your reading for Scorpios for August 2020. Um, hey, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm just the messenger. Take what applies, leave the rest. And... Um, Take what applies, leave the rest. If you want a personal reading, contact me at goddessglow.com, uh, which is G-H-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S, G 
G-L-O-W at, no, sorry, <laughs> goddessglow.com or goddessglow at gmail.com. So you can hit me up on my website. My website is goddessglow.com or you can email me at goddessglow at gmail.com. All right. So you guys um, have a good day.